Hey, what's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Today, we want to take a look at a fighter by the name of Sammy Mandel. Sammy Mandel was a lightweight who won a title from July 3rd, 1926 to July 17th, 1930, when he was knocked out by Al Singer. So let's take a look at this fighter and look at his profile. Now, Sammy Mandel was born February 5th, 1904 in Rockford, Illinois. His nationality was Italian-American, and he weighed 135 pounds and stood 5 foot 5 and a half inches. He was managed by Eddie King. Now, Sammy Mandel began his professional career in 1920. His knockouts as follows, Johnny Hangerman and Benny Shapiro, first round, Kid Corbett, fourth round, Johnny Cannon, third round, Kit Erger, third round, no decisions to Stubb Lowry, four rounds, Johnny Cannon, ten rounds, Frankie Izzo, ten rounds, Barney Doolin, ten rounds, and Fed Flannery, ten rounds. In 1921, knockouts as follows. Johnny Gannon, five rounds. Mike Ulu, one round. Barney Dula, three rounds. Sammy Frager, four rounds. Very good fighter. He won against Jack Ely, ten rounds. No decision against Barney Doolin. Ten rounds. Joe Dillon, ten rounds. Johnny Hagen, ten rounds. And Stanley Evans, 10 rounds. Just to name a few. 1923. He was placed on a card on February 1st against Stuart McLean, Minneapolis. No decision, 10 rounds. February 9th, Frankie Garcia, Chicago, Illinois. No decision in 10 rounds. February 15th, Eddie Anderson, Minneapolis. No decision in 10 rounds. March 9th, Joe Sager. Minneapolis. He was stopped in seven rounds. April 24th, Johnny Lizzy, Chicago, Illinois, knocked out in six rounds. May 21st, Eddie Walsh, Chicago, Illinois, he knocked him out in two rounds. May 29th, Frankie Garcia, Chicago, Illinois, no decision in eight rounds. And this goes on, Jack Wolf, Cincinnati, no decision in 12 rounds. That fight took place May 31st. June 26th, Harry Leonard. Chicago. He got a four round victory. July 24th, Sailor Larson. No decision in 10 rounds. On and on and on. No decision. Kale Mars, Joey Fox, Harry Kapikoff. October 26th, Harry Brown, New York City. Defeated him in 12 rounds. November 13th, Babe Herman. I showed, him, showed you him yesterday. No decision. In New York City, I'm sorry, New York City, he defeated him in 12 rounds. Let me do that again. November 13th, Babe Herman. New York City, defeated him in 12 rounds. Okay. December 3rd, Eddie Brady, Chicago. No decision in 10 rounds. December 17th, Sid Terrace. Very good fighter. I'm going to do a profile on him. If I can't get around to it today, I'll do it tomorrow. You need to know about him. New York City, 10 round draw. 1924, January 11th, Jack Bernstein, New York City, 15-round draw. March 24th, Mickey O'Dowd, Chicago, Illinois, no decision in 10 rounds. April 21st, Bill Henry, East Chicago, no decision in 10 rounds. May 15th, Jack Bernstein, Louisville, Kentucky, no decision in 12 rounds. These fighters are very good fighters at this point in his career. June 9th, Johnny Dundee. He was a champion. No decision in 10 rounds. Fascinating. August 14th, Eddie Kid Wagger, Youngstown, Ohio. No decision. 12 rounds. August 18th, Archie Walker. Good fighter. Cleveland, Ohio. No decision in 10 rounds. September 12th, Dick Hope. Vernon, California. He defeated him in four rounds. September 24th, Billy Wallace, Oakland, California, defeated him in four rounds. September 26th, Frankie Burns, Los Angeles, California, defeated him in four rounds. September 30th, Johnny Adams, Vernon, California, defeated him in four rounds. He defeated Phil Salvador and Jack Bernstein. 
Well, actually, he lost to Phil De- uh, Salvador and Jack Bernstein. He lost to Phil Salvador in four rounds in Vernon. I know that, and I'm just following what I'm looking at. Excuse me. 1925, January 12th, Charles Memphis KO'd him out in uh, six rounds. February 6th, Sid Terrace, New York City, defeated him in 12 rounds. Look at this schedule. July 17th, Sally Seaman. Chicago, Illinois, no decision in 10 rounds. Let me show you Sally Seaman. Uh, this is Sally Seaman. Fascinating fighter. Very good fighter, Sally Seaman. And this is Sid Terrace. We'll get into Sid Terrace as well. Fascinating. So August 31st, Bobby Ward, St. Louis, Missouri. No decision in 10 rounds. September 17th, Eddie Raynard. Champ, Illinois. Knocked him out in four rounds. October 12th, very good fighter, Phil McGraw. 12 round decision. Uh, 12 round draw, excuse me. Phil McGraw, 12 round draw, October 12th. December 7th, Jimmy Cashew. No decision in 10 rounds, 1926. Look at this schedule. I just want you to, I'm emphasizing look at the schedule for a specific reason. All 10 rounds, predominantly, except for a two round knockout of Sidney Click in Hollywood, California. That was May 7th. And then you have a 12 round deci- uh, no decision with Jack Duffy, very good fighter, Toledo, Ohio. That was November 12th. And then the six-round knockout with Ray Moore, Louisville, Kentucky, November 15th. And that's when he won the lightweight title. When he faced Larry, uh, Ray Moore. But the rest of these fights, 10 rounds. Look at the schedule. Unbelievable. 1926. 1927. Jimmy Langan, January 10th. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. De- defeated him in 10 rounds. January 31st. Armando... Shickles, Tampa, Florida, defeated him in 10 rounds. Fascinating. March 25th, Tommy White, Dallas, Texas, no decision in 10 rounds. April 4th, Jackie Fields, Los Angeles, California, no decision in 12 rounds. Jackie Fields will be champion. Fascinating. Jackie Fields lost the title to Young Corbin III. April 11th, Johnny Valdez, very good fighter. Tucson, Arizona, defeat, uh, knocked him out in two rounds. Steve Adams, June 1st, Kansas City, Missouri, knocked him out in two rounds. July 16th, Phil McGraw, Wildcat Monty, fascinating, all wins. If you look here, I'm going to show you something. Okay, 1928. January 13th, Billy Patrol. Let me show you Billy Patrol. This is Billy Patrol. Fargo Express. Fascinating fighter. Got to do a profile on him. That's Billy Patrol. He can go to the body like nobody can, believe me. He had a great fight. With Bat Ballerino, he fought them all. Outstanding fighter was Billy Patrol. February 23rd, Jackie Fields. Chicago fought him again, defeated him in 10 rounds. Like I said, Jackie Fields will be champion. April 17th, Eddie Kid Wagner, Detroit, Michigan. 10 round decision, defeated him. May 21st, Jimmy McLaren, New York City. Defeated him in 15 rounds. Nobody beat uh, Jimmy McLaurin. He was beating everybody. Jimmy McLaurin would be welterweight champion. Took the title back and forth for Barney Ross. He first took the title away from Young Corbett III. And then he had his wars with Barney Ross. Fascinating fighter. I did a profile on him. August 14th, Johnny O'Dell. Very good uh, fighter. Johnny O'Donnell, excuse me. Knocked him out in eight rounds. September 24th, Jimmy Goodwinch. Was a champion, Flint, Michigan. Knocked, he was knocked out in two rounds. Tell about Jimmy Goodwinch was a champion. Let, in fact, let me show you Jimmy Goodwinch. 
Turns out I can't get to Jimmy Goodwinch's uh, book right now. I got like 12 books on top of that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm sorry about that. 1929. Let's see who else I can find for you. I'm just going through these guys real quick. Jane, 22nd. Jack Galipsky. Indianapolis. No decision in 10 rounds. John Davis. Don Davis was a good fighter. He defeated him in 10 rounds. Benny Duke, another good fighter. Uh, defeated him in 10 rounds. Frankie Nelson. He was a good he was, he was a good fighter. Not the greatest. Killed him seven rounds. Tony, Tony Canzanari, I did a profile on him. Uh, outstanding fighter out of Chicago. That's where the fight was held. Defeated him in 10 rounds. Tony Canzanari, phenomenal fighter. Let me show you Tony Canzanari. This is Tony Canzanari. Fascinating fighter. Amazing fighter, Tony Canzanari. And he defeated him. Just keep it in mind. Look at that fight record. Fascinating. November 4th, Jimmy McLaurin, Chicago. He lost in 10 rounds. December 12th, Herman Perlick, Grand Rapids, Michigan, defeated him in 10 rounds. 1930, oh, great fighters here. January 15th, Manuel Quintorium, Miami Beach, 10 round uh, draw. February 3rd, Joey Goodman, Cleveland, defeated him in 10 rounds. March 1st, Jimmy McLaurin, Chicago, Illinois. He lost in 10 rounds. April 30th, Pee Wee Jarrell, Grand Rapids, Michigan. He uh, defeated him in 10 rounds. Amazing. May 9th, Tommy Grogan, good fighter. Omaha, Nebraska, 10-round draw. Izzy Klein, June 17th. He knocked him out in four rounds. July 17th, Al Singer, New York City. He was stopped in the first round and lost his lightweight championship. Al Singer, very good fighter. In fact, I'm going to do him real quick after this one. Mickey O'Neill. Fascinating. Just look, I'm just going to scroll down. Spug Myers, very good fighter. October 27th, I'll get to him. No decision, 10 rounds. Maxi Spurg, December 5th. He lost in 10 rounds. Lewis Kid Kaplan, another dynamite fighter. Off of Connecticut, lost in 10 rounds. That was August 24th, 1931. Uh, Ralph Lennon, Chicago, Illinois. No contest. Eight rounds. November 4th. Thirty-two. Just two losses. The two losses are Gus Campbell, Miami, Florida. Lost in 10 rounds. That was March 14th, 1932. Then he lost again to Todd... Moran, very good fighter. Uh, Morgan, Hollywood, California. Lost in 10 rounds, July 8th. 1933, he had two fights. He lost both those fights. Jackie Davis and Mickey Serene. Syracuse, New York, lost in six. October 13th, then October 23rd. Against Jackie Davis, Cleveland, Ohio, he lost in 10. 1934, he was stopped by Tony... Herrera, very good fighter. Excuse this blurriness. I apologize to you guys. He was stopped in six rounds. Chicago Vasquez, Tucson, Arizona. He knocked him out in six rounds. Tommy Elks, Arizona, knocked him out in two rounds. Archie Kovic, Reno, Nevada, 10-round draw. I'm sorry. Yes, right. Chico Vasquez, knocked him out in two rounds. I got confused for a second. So he had a total box of 168, 28 knockouts, 53 decisions uh, that he won. One of five once. He had eight draws. He was stopped five times. And 60 no decisions. One no contest. He lost on a five one time. So Sammy Mandel, salute to him. I got an end to him in my museum and forgotten Fisticuff series. He was a very good fighter. Look at the guys that he fought. Fascinating. 
Yeah, I'll sing. I promise y'all him. Get a better shot of this. I can't get a hold of Al Singer's book right now, but I'll show him to you another time. This is Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Salute to my subscribers. I've just inducted Sammy Mandel into the Museum of Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Salute.